Hey folks, thanks for checking out this video. Today, just like the title says, I want to talk about memorizing notes. That's right. Memorizing notes on the fretboard, uh, notes that are in chords, notes that are in scales. And so it is for those of you who want to go beyond uh, just memorize shapes, uh, going beyond tablature and fret numbers, and kind of get into the language of music. I think that's what this is really about, the language of music. And hopefully I'm wrong about this, but from my observation, it seems that out there in the guitar universe, it seems to be a lost art, the language of music. Uh, what's it good for? Well, as an example, and not to sound arrogant, but um, I know how to read. I know my music theory. I know my note names. Um, I could take a great big complex orchestral score and I understand what the little black dots mean. That doesn't mean I can sit there and sight read and play it all, but I have a insight into what's actually going on inside the music. So, let's get started. Okay, so number one, I would encourage those of you, of course, who, as I mentioned, who are looking to go beyond tablature and beyond memorized shapes for chords and such, is learn the notes of the fretboard. Right, I've had said this before in other videos. For example, this note here. A lot of people know that. Oh, that's the third fret of the sixth string. Well, it actually has a note name. That's a G. And so, that's number one. You got to learn your fretboard. Okay. Number two would be some basic music theory know what notes are in each key uh, so you know if you know the notes in each key you know where they are on the guitar so for example i think a lot of people know the key of c is all the white keys on the piano so no sharps no flats if you know the notes on your fretboard you don't have to rely on that little shape and think like the key of c is right here the key of c is across the whole fretboard simply knowing the note names here and the notes that are in the key of C. So that's number one. That's the first thing I would uh, encourage you to do. Learn the notes of the fretboard. And as I said, number two would be learn the notes that are in each key. And we're not going to get into the music theory in this video. I'm just going to kind of take you through sort of some main points of things to be looking at. Um, and then the third thing, um, yeah, notes of chords. So notes on the fretboard, notes of the scales, and then the chords that are come from each scale and know what notes those are. Uh, as an example, I'm going to use the chord A minor. A lot of guitar players in the early stages of learning learn that chord. They know it's A minor because someone showed them or they saw it in a book or online or something. It said, put your fingers here strum these strings and you have an A minor chord. That's what I would call level one, I guess you could say. Put your fingers here. There we go. A minor chord. The, and unfortunately, uh, through my years of teaching, that's where a lot of guitar players stop. And so I would say second level is learn that that's A minor, but which note that I'm strumming is the root note, which is A. Well, it's that one, the fifth string. Okay? And a lot of guitar players know that, but end up kind of parking there as well and don't go beyond that. And that's, of course, where, you know, your scale and chord theory knowledge comes in. Uh, the third level, and it's kind of where I encourage people to get to it, to know that this is A minor, yep. But we also know that this is A, E, A, C, and E. Okay, if you know your basic theory, you'd know that an A minor chord is the notes A, C, and E played simultaneously. So, what good is that? Memorize the notes, not the shapes. Well, if I know that A minor is A, C, and E, and I know my fretboard, as note names, not fret number, anywhere I can find those three notes in any combination, 
I can play, and it's an A minor chord. Okay, I could go like this, E, A, C. Another one here. There's a C there. There's an E. I need another A. Oh, there's an A there. A minor 7. I guess all that, to say that's the point right there, is if you know your notes, you don't need to memorize 15 or 20 different finger shapes for the A minor chord. You simply have the whole fretboard at your disposal. Fretboard freedom. All right, that's what I had. I, I was thinking about it earlier in the week and thought, yeah, I'd like to really talk about that. And so, um, as mentioned earlier, this is for those of you who are looking to go beyond fret number and tablature and get into the, the language of music and, and being free on the guitar to play note names, uh, not shapes. Um, yeah, I mean, shapes are great to start off, get your fingers going, get you uh, familiar with the fretboard. But hey, let's uh, move on to the next stage, and that's learn your notes. Okay, hopefully that helps some of you who are going down that path to learn the language of music and how it applies to the guitar. We'll see you next time.